and Bray comes from that lineage of Mike Rotundo, his dad, his grandfather, Black Jack Mulligan. Mm-hmm. My guy, Barry Wyndham is an uncle. Yeah. You know? Um, it's like God Almighty. Um, and he was one of the, more so than anything, when he walked in the dressing room at the beginning of every night, he just liked the room up. He came in the door smiling. He was, uh, he was a guy that really, really enjoyed the business and loved the business and was, you know, everything from when the lights would go out, what was supposed to be a monster coming through the curtain, when the lights would go out and everybody would hit, hit their lighter or whatever it was they had to light up the arena and that music played, it made you feel good, even though you knew a monster was at the end of it. It was a weird dynamic that just absolutely worked. And and he was just a good human being. He's just a loss to humanity. Forget the wrestling business. He's a loss to humanity, and we're going to miss him big time, mm. as well as Terry. Yeah. Arn, uh, the Wyatts, they do make their uh, debut on Raw July 8th, 2013, after weeks of these teases and vignettes. And before they enter the arena, Bray cuts an amazing promo uh, from what will become his signature rocking chair. And we have it, and we're going to show this and talk a little bit about it and continue to move on here. Oh, no. I have no followers. I have only brothers and sisters, all in the name of cause. People are sheep. You understand me? They can't lead themselves. They need to be led. People buy and sell fear. They worship war. They crave war. But I'm not afraid of their wars. I created war. And I think it's time for the masses to wake up. Wake up. Wake up! Wake up and look at this line they're living in, man! The world is deteriorating between their toes, and they do nothing about it. They only stand there, they whisper and wonder, but they never do anything about it. But I've seen it all in my dreams and in my thoughts, and above everything else, I understand that this is not the beginning. <laughs> it's the end. <laughs>
So, Arn, that's one way to come and make your presence felt at a wrestling show. You're not going after local talent. You're coming right in, right after the big red machine. Uh, you are you got the push right from the get-go. You know what I mean? They're off to the races with Bray Wyatt. That's a 300-pound Charles Manson. That's what I get from that character. And they just went right after the resident monster. To your point, they didn't started out with enhancement talent or somebody to be a punching bag. They went right after the the monster. And they convinced me that the shit is on.